Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, all schools were closed in the middle of March 2020 to lessen the spread of infection. Since then, the Commission on Higher Education implemented online distance learning. The students began to adjust to their new situation. However, the workload became onerous and the students grew exhausted. Or in other words, academism burned out. According to a study by Morocco et al., student involvement and burnout were discovered to be strong predictors of personal academic achievement and desire to drop off. Our study was conducted to see whether there is a correlation between academic burnout from online learning and dropout intention of admitting students at the University of St. Lazare. Good day, we are the Group 2A from BSM3C and today we present our research entitled Academic Burnout and Dropout Intention Among Lasallian Nursing Students. For the objectives, the study aims to determine the relationship between academic burnout from distance learning due to the COVID-19 pandemic and dropout intention among nursing students at the University of St. Lasalle. For the research design, the study used quantitative correlational research. The researchers use statistical analysis to explore the relationship between academic burnout and dropout intention in a non-experimental study. The participants of the study included 452 enrolled nursing students narrowed down to a sample size of 211 students using the Rousoff calculator. This includes 128 students from level 3 and 83 students from level 4. The research instruments used were the burnout assessment tool to measure burnout levels and the survey and dropout intention related to the nursing program is used to measure the level of dropout intention and retention. This table discusses the level of burnout among the solid nursing students for the following burnout symptoms. First, for exhaustion, it has a mean of 3.5545, interpreted as high. Mental distance, a mean of 3.2259, interpreted as moderate. Cognitive impairment, a mean of 3.2259. 497 interpreted as moderate. Emotional impairment, a mean of 2.9415, interpreted as low. Exhaustion, therefore, emerges as an outcome of academic pressure. According to Hamidi et al., personal demographic variables remain major contributors. This validates the low results of emotional impairment. In this table, it shows that the rate of dropout intention among the level 3 and level 4 nursing students had an average mean of 2.4445, which is interpreted as very low. As for the student's retention rate, the result was 3.6047, which describes that the participants had a very low chance of dropping out of the program and had a high probability of retention or continuing the course. Table 8 finally shows the relationship between academic burnout and dropout intention. Exhaustion had an R value of 0.414, mental distance is at 0.448, cognitive impairment is at 0.390, and emotional impairment is at 0.342. All of these symptoms had a P value of 0.000, which means that all four symptoms have a significant relationship and it rejects the null hypothesis. The participants showed a high level of exhaustion, a moderate level of mental distance and cognitive impairment, and a very low level of emotional impairment. The findings revealed that the students have a very low intention to drop out and a high intention to retain in the program. All four burnout symptoms were found to be correlated with dropout intention. Exhaustion and mental distance have a moderate correlation with dropout intention, whereas cognitive impairment and emotional impairment have a weak correlation. For our recommendations, first we have the child officers. Assist teachers with course planning and delivery, keeping track of students' progress. And for you as administrators, con officers, and nursing faculty, foster an environment in which nursing students can demonstrate their expertise and assist in attaining professional competency. For the nursing students, use a range of coping mechanisms in the clinical setting to deal with the work-related stress. And for future researchers, conduct a more in-depth study on the factors that causes academic burnout among us all in nursing students. And that is it for our study entitled Academic Burnout and Dropout Intention Among Us All in Nursing Students. Thank you.